And I'm here at Latino Arts, which is inside the United Community Center, where a Cesar Chavez-inspired art exhibit is set to open tomorrow. For those of you who are not familiar with Chavez, he co-founded the United Farm Workers Labor Union in the 1960s, and then spent his life really advocating for migrant workers. Today, most define Chavez by the essence of his movement. The program director of health research here at United Community Center says celebrating Cesar Chavez Day is an important part to preserving Mexican and Latino stories. We are the historians. We are the creators, but we are also the historians to bring the, keep this message alive. Because if we don't keep stepping back, or it's taking a moment to step back and realize where we, how we got here and where we're going, we're going to repeat some of the same mistakes again. Such important stories. So there are some local events happening today to honor Chavez. Both are virtual. So the first is being presented by Waukesha County Technical College. Christine Chavez, who is the granddaughter of Cesar Chavez, will speak about her lifetime commitment to civil rights, the labor movement, and community organizing. That event starts at noon. And then the Marcus Center's fourth annual Cesar Chavez event starts at 5 o'clock this evening. There are no tickets or reservations required for these virtual events. And Andrea, I am here at the exhibit, as I was mentioning, and we're going to talk with the artistic director about the importance of the exhibit and really the historical perspective that Cesar Chavez provided for farmers here in Wisconsin as well. Okay, a beautiful backdrop as well, Susan. We're looking forward to learning more about that. Thank you.